My name is Jeff Sudelman, and this is my presentation on VoltDB. So what we're going to go over today is we're going to go over some of the advantages of VoltDB and why it's important to have a high-speed database like Volt. And then in the second half of the presentation, we're going to build a quick sample of VoltDB application so you can see how it all works. So VoltDB is focused on one of the four dimensions of big data, and that dimension is velocity. VoltDB is dedicated to getting your data to your application as fast as possible. And to explain the importance of that, I'm going to run you through a little hypothetical situation. You are an NFL coach, okay? It's fourth and one. Your season and your job is on the line. Do you want to go for it, or do you want to punt? Well, the mantra of big data tells us that the more, dis the more information we have, the better decisions we can make. Let's see that unfold in the NFL world. All right, Coach 1, this guy has a traditional lamp stack up in his analytics department, okay? He calls up the analytics booth. He says, Jim, I need to know the results of every 4th and 1 against the Raiders in the snow in December. Well, his analytics department is running this traditional lamp stack. So they get that request, and... They come back with the news, well, okay, you know, I can run that query for you, but I can only, I only have data back to 2002, and I don't really have the weather conditions or the opponent, so, you know, I, the data says, I guess the data says, go for it. You know, you have a 60% chance of being successful since 02. Coach one goes for it. The play doesn't work. What do you know? Both coach and Jim are out of a job. That's unfortunate. Let's go to Coach 2. Coach 2, he's running a stack with Hadoop on top, okay? So he's got all the data he needs. He has all the information there. So he makes he calls up to his booth. He goes, guys, it's fourth and one in the snow against the Raiders. What do I, what do I need to run here? He calls his analytics booth, and they're on, on the job. They're running, they're, running their, you know, they're running their job in Hadoop. Maybe it's a MapReduce job. They're running it, okay, you know, 20% map, 80% map, 20% reduce, and then what do you know? Delay of game. It's just not fast enough. While they're waiting for the analytics department to finish running their map reduce job over HDFS, delay of game, five-yard penalty. They don't get a chance to even run the fourth and one play. Looks like Hadoop coach is out of a job. Let's go to our modern coach, okay? And our modern coach is running a completely modern big data stack. He's using, he's harnessing the power of VoltDB to run this modern data stack. Coach calls up his analytics department. He goes, listen, it's fourth and one against the Raiders. What do I do here? His analytics department, they're running VoltDB. They call back. Well, coach, pretty interesting here. Fourth and one against the Raiders is successful 60% of the time historically. We've got data all the way back to the 1950s. And, you know, we have so much data that we're able to analyze here. I can tell you that runs to the right of the formation work 88% of the time in fourth and one. So modern coach, he calls a run to the right. They pick up the fourth down. They get the yardage. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's making millions of dollars all because he's harnessed the velocity of big data excuse me so there's your modern big data stack quite a powerful application quite a powerful ability this ability to harness big da big data and volt db lets you harness that big data and we're gonna and i'll talk a little about how volt db does it volt db works on a shared nothing architecture which means that every disk is independent is independent of itself. You don't have this centralized disk area where every every host, every cluster is pinging it for information. Everything is spread out on VoltDB, so you can add more clusters and get more data. So we're going to build this sample VoltDB application. Here are the steps. We're going to take a SQL DDL, compile that into a jar. Then we're going to deploy that into our VoltDB database and then query it, and we're going to gain some insight. So the sample application we're going to use is we're going to base it off American Idol. The way American Idol works is, you know, within an hour span, people call.
they call into this line and they make a vote for one of these contestants. And here are four finalists for American Idol. Within, you know, within an hour, we're going to calculate, see who got the most votes, and we're going to show you how VoltDB can be used to maintain and track that progress. So the first step of building a VoltDB app is you're going to need to download it here at VoltDB community slash downloads. You download whatever, whichever system you, you know, whichever system you're running it on. And then after you do that, you go and you've downloaded VoltDB. Let's go into the terminal and let's run it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, is I'm going to, tunnel into my VoltDB folder, which is right here, 3.2.0.1 ls. And it comes with a bunch of set examples. This voter one is one of those set examples, CD voter. And let's see the, so in voter, there's the DDL for our data. So let's look at that DDL, cat DDL.sql. Looks like it's got some tables there some partitions, some uh, some customized views. It all looks pretty good. Okay, so we have our DDL. Let's turn that DDL into a jar file using the VoltDB compiler. So dot dot slash bin slash VoltDB compile class path object oh idols, idols.jar, ddl.sql. And so what we did there, I'll show you the command again. We basically took ddl.sql, which we looked at earlier, and we compiled it into idols.jar. And using that jar file, we're going to be able to deploy a VoltDB database. And we do that using this command. So it starts the same way. Dot, dot, slash bin slash voltdb and now we're going to create catalog we're going to create a catalog of the jar that we just made create catalog idols jar and okay we well i've got voltdb running up in another node let me close that so voltdb i had it running here let's try that again Can only be running VoltDB on one on one node at a time. That's one of the drawbacks of the Community Edition. Enterprise Edition allows you to run it on multiple stacks. So good. Looks like our VoltDB app is running. We're going to open up a second window here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to start deploying our database. We're going to use this run.sh catalog, which is pretty much mirroring the compile function that we saw. We're going to see that same table and those same insert procedure, those same built-in CRUD procedures being built from our DDL. Now we're going to run dot slash run slash sh client. And this is going to be our callers calling in and voting. So we're going to run this. Which idol contestant do you think will win? I am going to guess it'll be this girl on the left here. So we're going to we're going to click run.sh client. Click it and now our votes are coming in. How do we know our votes coming in? Well, we I built this uh it's a little HTML file that shows the real-time results for our voting. There are our contestant names. Let's see what we got here. And here come the votes pouring in. Look at all this data, and look how quickly you're able to track all this. This is really, this is really impressive. So far, Edwina Burnham is up to, she's out to a strong lead, especially in the West and in the north of the country, but. Looks like Jesse Eichmann is strong in the Northeast and in Texas. We'll see if that's enough for him. Another cool feature of VoltDB that I particularly like is uh, VoltDB Studio. So actually, let me let me do this first. So VoltDB is lucky enough that it can use SQL for uh, for data access. So if you run this command, 
brings you into SQL and you can query your database straight from this window, straight from your command line. Select contestant. And there we got our contestant numbers and contestant names. Another cool thing we have as the votes keep pouring in is we can VoltDB has this VoltDB Studio option, which you get to by going to localhost.8 colon 8080 slash studio. And it's sort of just a you know graphic user interface for you to write queries in it as well. So let's uh, let's run that select from contestants query here. And if you you can run it in studio and you get the information that way. So you can do it. In the command line, you can do it from Studio. VoltDB offers you that sort of flexibility. The votes are still pouring in here. It looks, it's looking pretty good for Edwina Burnham as we're coming down to the last couple minutes here. She's a great country singer, so I hope you picked her while we were you know, deciding earlier on. Let's see how VoltDB is doing. Oh, it looks like it's done running. And your American Idol is Edwina Burnham as tabulated by volt db all those votes received within 40 within 45 seconds average of 25,000 texts per second so that's just crazy so again you've seen what it takes to build a volt db app let's just recap what we did we defined our we defined our schema in a sql ddl we compiled that into a jar file deployed it into VoltDB and then we queried our database to gain real-time insight all with the power of VoltDB. That's all for my presentation. Thanks for listening.